I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, CB. It's Jordan and Bree here with your announcements for February 12, 2021. Seniors, join the graduation project show me class for important information concerning your senior project. The code is 3YPNP. Email Mrs. Koslick or Mrs. Jones for more information. Senior projects are due April 5th. Auditions for this year's high school musical are open. The auditions will not be in person this year and instead they will be video auditions. Videos are due February 12th. As of now, the musical is scheduled for April 29th, 30th, May 1st, and May 2nd. If you would like more information about the auditions that can be found on the school website, go to the high school page and then in the menu, click Programs and find Musical, or you can sign up for the class in Chevy, where all auditions will be uploaded. The class code is CQ4UE. Any questions, contact Frau or Mrs. Regal. No. Now on to the sports broadcast. Today at Beaver High School, our boys basketball team tips off against the Bobcats at 7.30. Good luck with your way game, boys. The boys basketball team will also compete against Beaver again for a home game this time. The jump ball will take place at 2.30. Tomorrow on Saturday, the girls basketball team faces off against Beaver Falls at 12 o'clock. This will be a home game as well. On Sunday the 14th, the, the gymnastics team has a meet that will take place at 2.30. The competitors will be Hopewell and Chartiers Valley. That's all we have for you today, CB. Now here's me and Tyler with a special segment on Chinese New Year. Good morning, Central Valley. It's Jordan and Tyler here to welcome you back to another CBTV special segment. Today is a very special day for people of Chinese descent. Chinese New Year, also known as the Lunar New Year, is today. The Year of the Ox, specifically. There are many ways that people celebrate the Spring Festival. That includes cleaning their homes, hanging red posters, decorating their homes with red lanterns, as well as spending family time together. During the Spring Festival Eve, people set off their famous fireworks and firecrackers. These explosives are supposed to cast away bad luck and misfortune. People will throw parts and parades with dragon and lion dances, wear new clothes, and give their children luck money. Chinese New Year starts with the first 24 solar terms, known as Li Fun. The New Year always takes place on the new moon that falls between the 21st of January and the 20th of February. This year, the new moon appears on February 12th. Chinese New Year lasts 15 days, and different activities take place on each day. For example, in preparation for New Year's, families will clean houses and prepare food days before the actual New Year's Eve. On New Year's Eve, people will decorate their houses in red banners and other New Year's themed decor. People will also have family reunion dinners and spend time with their relatives, as well as give luck money to their kids. And on New Year's Day, people will set off firecrackers and burn fake valuables to honor deceased loved ones. The rest of the time will be spent with family and friends until people have to go back to work, which is usually on the eighth day. Shopping for new clothes is also a common tradition, so set up the oncoming year with fresh clothing. The last and final day of the New Year celebration is the Lantern Festival. In this festival, we'll light lanterns and release them into the sky. They will also eat sweet dumplings, much like Germans do, with sauerkraut in traditional New Year's. The celebration will end even more fireworks, and the New Year period will be over. The Lunar New Year is the most important holiday in China, along with Thailand, Korea, Japan, and Vietnam. In fact, there are more fireworks set off in just a few nights of Chinese New Year than anywhere else in the rest of the world. Sometimes it's illegal because large cities have banned fireworks for safety reasons, but that doesn't stop residents from doing it anyway. Chinese New Year will be celebrated today in many Asian countries and remains a time of honoring and reflection of the previous year. That's all we have for you today, CB. Have a great rest of your day.